So, why are we here? 40 million women have fibroid disease. 80% at least of uh, black women and 70% of white women by age of 50 will develop this disease. And then um, at age of 30, 35, 60% of black women and 40% of white women. It's very common. 26 million American women suffer significantly from this disease physically, mentally, socially, economically, because they suffer, they cannot even go to work or study. And 1.2 million women agree on big surgeries, like 600,000 approximately, myomectomy, 600,000, hysterectomy, yeah. removal of uterus for benign disease. They so suffer that they're ready to get rid of part of the body. And because it's so scary to have such a terrible treatment and surgery, vast majority, 90 plus percent, just suffer in silence, kind of just go through life without normal, best version of the life. Prolonged having menstrual period, pain during the intercourse, bleeding, small bladder, constipation, miscarriages. Do you understand that this disease? Kills your life, ruins your life, and kills the babies. Miscarriages, number one reason for miscarriage is fibroid disease, of course, because fibroids are tumors. They grow as big as a grapefruit or larger, and they compete for the baby for blood flow, blood supply, and space. It's also killer of the life because if you don't have normal, if you suffer so much, you cannot go out. You can have a normal family. You basically waste the best years of your life. And why is that so terrible that 90 plus percent of the women ready to suffer and waste their life? Are they so not smart? Are, do they like to suffer? They just don't know. That's why we're here. They do not know. Now, some of it is fault of the doctors, too. When they go to doctors, and many doctors don't even offer ultrasound, don't even, not aware that, you know, doctors are busy. You know, if you breathe, you walk, and you're not dying, it's a good thing. And doctors sometimes don't understand. It's not good enough. So, ultrasound's not offered. They're right. People just don't know, don't diagnose. If they diagnose, Many doctors, it's not a big deal. Yeah, in that mind, if I can just explain what goes in the doctor's mind, sometimes it's, uh, you're not dying, you're fine. My surgery is terrible, it's a big surgery. I really want you to suffer a lot that it will be better than my surgery. But what they don't tell, that there's not surgery. There's a minimum invasive uterine fibroid embolization procedure, no surgery. And it's definitely this treatment through the needle hole with a tiny catheter, 30, 40 minutes. I, I've seen Dr. White 12 minutes. I record this from beginning to the end. Wow. 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 Hour later, go home. Mm -hmm. Two wow. days later, go home. Mm -hmm. And that's the alternative that nobody knows. So it's really secret. It's really secret because nobody knows. So what I encourage, we're obviously to share all this information. I encourage you tomorrow, today, the day after tomorrow, be comfortable starting this conversation, probing the question, do you know about fibroids? Do you know this guy, that guy? Do you know that you don't have to suffer? Do you know majority of people suffer? Just promise to share with 10 people, and before you share the secret, you make sure that they pledge to tell and people each. And three times like this is a thousand. Three more times it's a million. What do you think will happen after this? Nobody will suffer. Nobody will suffer. And that's why we're here. Fiber fibers, USA fiber centers, to make sure every woman have the best version of her life without any limitation. So thank you very much for coming. And thank you.